Jennifer and Chris have put their relationship problems to the cyber test. Ah, and now it's time to find out how the Cyber Conflict Council ruled. All right, so let's go to their first issue. Do you agree with Chris commenting on Jennifer's weight? No. Do you agree with Motivation. Chris commenting on Jennifer's weight? Let's see what they said. Like 80% disagree, and I thought a couple of people were gonna be like, Well, you just need to keep your body together. I thought we were gonna Thank hear that, but, but not so. Harice, <laughs> you have two kids, and you disagreed with Chris. I disagree with Chris because you're not that skinny yourself. I mean, for you to call her fat, you were sitting there eating right along with her. I know I went up to 200 pounds with my second son, so I know how hard it is to get that weight off for you. You're supposed to be, su oh no, you didn't look like that. Oh. You're supposed to be supporting her. That's your wife, you love her. So for you to call her fat, I think you need to shed some pounds too. Okay. Uh -uh. <laughs> Steven, give us your take, Steven. Dude, it's never good to call your wife fat. <laughs> well, I'm Thank finding you. out. Really I'm finding you. But also, in the same sense, man, uh, there's, there's a way you can motivate her, you know, encourage her to come to the gym with you. There's gyms that have daycares. Bring her with you, you know what I mean? Like, go do it together. Make it a thing together. Let's check out the next issue. Do you agree with Chris that Jennifer needs to stop spending so much money on the baby? Yeah. Let's check it out and see what they said. Fifty-seven percent agree that Chris, that agrees with Chris that Jennifer needs to stop spending so much. Thomas, you agreed with Chris. I agree. I heard you spent eight hundred a month on the baby. That is my rent and my utilities. That's ridiculous. <laughs> totally ridiculous. Put the money in a college fund for he your has child. A fund Put the money in a college fund. Okay. So, Paris, you're a mother of two, and you thought Chris was right. Why is I that? I think Chris is right. I think you're a little bit neurotic. You want your children to have everything you've never had as a I child. Know, right. But the more you do that, the more they're going to go someplace else. $600 on an outfit. He can't even play in that backyard. What, what is he doing he there yet? He does. He loves that backyard. And he throws all the stuff around. I would throw it, too, because, look, it's all in my way. Kids are happy with the simplest things, believe they me. They sure are. They, they would rather, a, believe my son, he's four. He would rather a pot and a stick, and he would have a time with it. <laughs> that is so, so that true. That is true. That is true. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I agree that kids don't know the difference. They really don't. Not that small. Okay, let's see Chris and Jennifer's to the last issue. Do you agree with Jennifer about wanting to bring their baby on the honeymoon? Okay, we're asking the council, oh, not the audience here today. Let's check uh. out. All right, so 90% of them say that you are wrong. You should not bring your baby on your honeymoon or your anniversaries. Steven. Well, then he's left nope. at home and he thinks, you know, oh, my parents left me. He, they abandoned me. I mean, he could go on a cruise. Wait, how old is your child? 11 months. Your I child know. is 11 months old and you yeah. think his, his brain is going to sit he, there and yes. calculate that you have abandoned him. <laughs> yes. You can't even keep a straight face when I said that and you know it. <laughs> Steven. I know. Steven. Oh. Honeymoon is time for you two. Go Thank there, you. have fun. Your baby's gonna be cool. It's gonna be there when you get back, you know? Go back. Maybe. Make, the, make more baby making time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <Hey. laughs> no, and Paris, you agreed with Jennifer. Tell us why you agreed with Jennifer. Because uh, she maybe doesn't, that's her first child, so I can kind of understand you not want, but you should bring maybe your mom or his mom along, and maybe they can watch the baby for you. Oh, no. That sounds like even more of a honeymoon. I have somebody today. from the audience here that wants to pipe oh. in. What's your name? I'll hold it. What's your Mary name? Mary Stippert. I got it, Mary. What's your what, what do you have to say? I went up, my husband and I only got married last October. We got married on the cruise ship. I had no alternative to but to bring my seven year old stepdaughter with me because I had no one to watch her. Mm. My husband and I did not have a good time. 
You cannot bring a child with you and enjoy yourselves. We didn't have a good time on our honeymoon. You definitely would not have a good time. We'll be right back. Now, I know some of you guys are at home thinking that your relationship could use a cyber intervention, too. So go to TyraShow.com and tell us all about the drama. And while you're there, you can vote on a big spat that I'm having with my glam squad, my hair and my makeup and my clothing people. See you later. Take us away, Fergie. Sing us out, baby. Tyra, Tyra, Tyra.